All right, since I have been having internet issues blinking and I can't see it on my end and I haven't been able to get it solved, um, still in communication with iRacing trying to figure out what the issue is. So we're going to watch some races because I can see everyone perfectly fine. Um, this is 360 non-wing and we've got two heat races. 11 cars, so going to be lining up the inside row and then setting the outside row. We're going to have five cars actually in this one. I don't think the 11th guy is actually here. They're sitting on the uh, front stretch ready to go, and we got Wally Reardon in the number three. He'll be starting on pole for heat race number one, then Cotavara outside front row. Pauser in the 7 car, inside 2nd row, Folsom in the 9, and then Thomas Grew in the 8 car. It's going to round out the field, 5 cars, setting the lineup, everyone transfers to the main. Going to be doing 8 laps, no cautions. Pace cars should be ducking in here. Get ready to go. Wingless action. We're going to be sideways. A hey, step on it. Good far uh, working the outside, trying to get a nose on. Just gets outside of Reardon. Side by side through three and four. Still just a little peek on the outside. Can't get quite up to his rear. And now it looks like Reardon's going to hold on to that lead. They settle in, pulling away from the rest of the pack. Back for the uh, third and fourth spot. Folsom pulling away from Pauser, who goes up and over into the wall. There's not going to be a caution. He exits off the track. He'll be starting at the rear of the field for the AMA. So, four laps to go. Reardon in control of this one. Cotavara in second. Folsom third. And Grew in that fourth spot. Fastest lap of the race is your leader. 11 9 7 4. Sounds like we got one up in the wall. That's Folsom putting the right rear up against the wall on entry. He's just trying to hold on to it. Start on that third row, the A main. Grew slowly catching him. That time, two tenths quicker. White flag. Reared in. Still in control of this one. It's going to come around three and four. Take the win over Kotvara. Folsom back here trying to hang on to the third spot, and he will in the nine car. So we'll get the second race all set up as they load in here heat race number two is going to be todd keen on the pole he's in the number six car brester in the 11 outside front row cameron key in the two car inside second row kevin inarelli in the 10 car he's bringing up the rear of the field and then wyatt brown starting on the outside second row in the four so getting ready to pull away two pace laps and then we'll go green They work around the track. Once again, eight laps. and be a quick race. Then we'll head into the A main once we've set this outside row. So Keen holding back from the pace truck. Trying to control the start. Brester not getting the message. He's way up front there. 
Keen's going to go way early, almost on the backstretch. We're green, and Keen is gone. So, battle now for third, it looks like. Cameron Key, Wyatt Brown, and Relly bringing up the rear. Key going to look underneath Brester. Almost a little contact there on the left rear. And two different lines almost coming together. Inarelli gets past Brown as he slides high. Key still working below line, trying to get under Brester. Keen is gone. Key is in third. That time around, though, Brester gets a decent run on the bottom side. Pulls the gap down just a bit on the leader. We got four to go. Brester trying to get it hooked up. Starting to see a little bit of a slick spot on the exit of the corner. These cars on iRacing tear up the straightaways quicker than they do the corners. Key almost gets around for the second spot as Brester gets a decent run on the outside, on the leader. Two to go. Brester working that outside. He's going to lose that spot. Three wide for the lead. And now Key jumps into the lead. White flag. We've got a hell of a race on our hands. Keen comes up, blocks the run by Key. Brester gets in trouble on entry there. Keen's going to hold on after losing the lead. Key will finish second. Brester third, Inarelli fourth, and Brown is going to be fifth. We're going to get them lined up now. Ten cars for the A main. This is a 30-lap race. Cautions are on. So, your heat race winners, Wally Reardon, Todd Keen, the three in the six car. On the second row, you're going to have Kotovara and Cameron Key. That'll be the number one and number two car. Still waiting for Kotovara to load in here. Third row, you've got Rory, Rory Folsom in the nine car and Justin Brester in the six. Fourth row, Thomas Grew, Kevin Inarelli, Sean Poser, and Wyatt Brown. So, getting ready to roll off. Six is doing the reverse thing that does nothing, but since all the fast guys do it, people do it, because that's what racing is. So, 30 laps. If it goes green, this will be a quick six-minute race. And uh, from the looks of it, in the heat races, everyone was keeping it pretty clean. Hopefully we get the same thing here through the A main. See if I can keep up with the action. As they bring them around for the final time, Pace Truck's going to dive in. Reardon bringing them around slow through three and four. Steps on it. Pretty even start by the two leaders. Reardon low, Keen high. Cotavara works his way into the second spot for a minute as Keen goes back up to the top. We've got four cars with a blanket over them for that top spot. Everyone looking for a little gap that they can get into. Keen working that high side. He's got to run down the back stretch, high through three and four. He's going to have that run off the corner, takes the lead at the line just barely. Keen, your new leader. And we've got a caution out now. It looks like Wyatt Brown might have had some trouble, and he's upside down. Take a quick look at what happened there to the four car. He goes upside down and around, gets hooked a bit, loses the cover, and stuck on his lid. All right, so quick caution. Going to set him single file now I believe for the restart. Keen's got the advantage now as he's taken the lead from that high side. Outside front row. Reardon in, in second. Cotavara in third. Cameron Key in fourth. Brester in fifth. Rory Folsom 
in the sixth spot. Kevin Anarelli in the seventh. Thomas Grew and Sean Pazer. So, White Brown appears to be out of the race, and his night is done in the four car. So, down to nine cars, 25 to go. It'll be 24 as we get the green. Keen's bringing him around slowly. See if he does that early start going into three. We've seen it in this heat race. We'll see it again here as he starts in th turn number three. It's a run on the high side. Reardon goes back down low. Cotavara goes high. We'll see if Cotavara can get around Reardon. He's running the high side just as Keen does. Reardon and Cotavara inches away from each other on that top side. He's got to run down the back stretch though, and he's going to take over the second spot, it looks like, as Reardon gets a little loose through three and four. Keen holding onto that top stop. Cotavara working the same line. He's going to have to switch it up if he wants to get around him for the lead. Great racing up front, nearly three wide entering the corner, but spreads back out on exit as they go three different lines here. Now Reardon joining them on the top side. Cameron Key falling back just a little bit from this front pack as Cotavara really gaining on Keen. Keen and Cotavara get into the wall a little bit down the back stretch. Throws off their entry into three, but they both hang on to it. And Cotavara really closing in just a little bit quicker. He's going to go to the bottom now. We're going to see a slider. Not quite. Can't get it done, holds it down. Gonna work the bottom, have to come back up. Take another shot at it, 18 to go. 17 this time by. Reared in, little sideways midway through the corner. Looking low under Cotavara. Now he's got it hooked up, giving him a little trouble. That's gonna force Cotavara up to the top. Not gonna be able to do much. So they've evened out at the front, kind of spreading out. Reardon might have touched the wall a little bit there. Cameron Key falling back. Brester in fifth and Arelli sixth. Having a little issue on entry. Got that front end push and looks like we've actually got a caution. Uh, Rory Folsom upside down. Let's take a look and see what happened to him. He's sideways, hits the tires, sends it over and ends up on his side. Once we get that new damage model, we should see cars digging into the dirt a little bit better, having a little bit more realistic rolling, uh, tire contact, looking forward to that. Hopefully that'll be out soon on the dirt side. Also would be interesting to get some uh, tire wear over on this dirt side. See some of these right rears just melt. Could be an interesting situation, having to save your tires. Think about that a little bit more. Right now, it's just heat-based on the fall-off. So, I think the pace truck's coming in this time. And Keen, a little closer than normal. He's not going to be able to get that massive jump that he normally does. Cotavara knows his game now. Keen gets a little sideways off of four. That's going to allow Cotavara to look to the inside through one and two. Nose is out into the lead. Loses it, though, on exit. And drops back pretty far. Keen holding on to this one. 11 to go. Cameron Key working the bottom underneath Reardon. Back up front. Keen, high side, making it work. Cotavara once again. He's closed up on him. Can he do anything to get around him? He tried to go to the bottom last time, but then that brought Reardon up to him. So close right there. Wheel to wheel on that high side. He's going to go to the bottom. This time he's thrown the slider. Can't get it done. He does get ahead just for a second. But uh, being a little nice there, I don't think he was going to clear him. So keeping it safe and clean, that's kind of what you want to see out of racers. This allows Reardon to come back. Seven to go for Keen. six to go this time by so he's got a halfway decent lead 
Kotovara trying to close back up. A tenth quicker that last time by. Closing in just a little more. Five to go. Kotovara looking for a way around him. Keen almost up into the wall. A little higher than he's been the whole race. Actually gets a tenth quicker there. I don't know if Kotovara thought he was going to eat the wall and backed off. Keen is working that high side. Three to go this time. So Keen. Coming around, we're going to be two to go here off of four. Kotovar not closing in on him. Throws it in a little deeper than he has been there. White flag this time around. Keen's got this one in hand as long as he keeps it off the wall. Might see a slider from Kotovar. It's going to be a hell of a dive if he does. He's going down low. He tries to hook it up down low. Not going to work. Todd Keene in the six gets the win. Kotovara second. Wally Reardon holds on to third. Cameron Keene in the two will get fourth. Justin Brester in the 11 will take home fifth. Sean Pauser, Thomas Grew, and Kevin Inarelli rounds out your top eight. Great 30 lap feature. I hope you enjoyed that one. Keene's getting a little celebration going on out there on the front stretch. And lots of action. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll keep doing these until I get my internet issue solved, and let me know if you want to see something. I'm going to try to hit the lesser known series and uh, give them a little bit of light on my channel. All right. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that.